I am Anil Kumar. Let me thank all the viewers and subscribers for watching my videos, posting questions and asking for some great questions. Here is a request from one of our subscribers who wants to know about tangents to polar curves. The question here is, find the points on the cardioid r equals to 1 plus sine theta where the tangent line is horizontal or vertical. So that's a very interesting question. I've sketched the polar curve for r equals to 1 plus sine theta right there to give you an idea. So when we're talking about the horizontal tangent lines, if you see from the graph, we do find three points where we could have horizontal tangent line. As far as the vertical is concerned, we have vertical tangents at these two points on the ends and also right there. So there are three vertical tangents also. So that is very interesting. Let's figure out how to find these points. Now we are given r equals to 1 plus sine theta. Let us uh, convert them to Cartesian quadrants. So we get x equals to r cos theta which will be equal to 1 plus sine theta uh, which will be equal to 1 plus sine theta times cos theta correct as far as y value is concerned it will be r sine theta in Cartesian quadrants r is 1 plus sine theta and then times sine theta so that that is how we could describe it in Cartesian plane. Coming back to tangents, we really want to know what is dy dx, correct? So we really want to find what is dy dx. So dy dx will be dy d theta over dx d theta, correct? So let's find what is dy d theta first. Equating dy d theta to 0, we get horizontal tangents. So let's find what is dy d theta equals to. So we'll differentiate the second equation, this one, with respect to theta. 1 plus sine theta times sine theta. Apply the product rule. Derivative of 1 plus sine theta is cosine theta. So we get cos theta times sine theta plus 1 plus sine theta times derivative of sine theta which is cos theta. Now to simplify let's take cos theta common. We get sine theta here and 1 plus sine theta there right. So we get 1 plus 2 sine theta. Perfect. So that is how we get dy d theta. So it's good we got a factored form and uh, from this factored form when is dy d theta equals to zero let's analyze this also so dy d theta equals to zero for when is cos theta equals to zero and when is one plus two sine theta equals to zero that is what we need to figure out okay so we're looking for uh, cos theta equals to 0. So as you know from the graph of cos, <clears throat> I always sketch the graph of cosine function to find its zeros. It becomes simpler. right? So, so basically you find that it is 0 for two points. So one of them is theta equals to pi by 2. The other, I mean, pi by 2, the other one is 3 pi by 2. Okay, so these two points, cos theta is 0. Now here we are looking for sine theta to be equal to minus half, right? So when is sine theta minus half? To find sine theta minus half, 
we are actually looking for solutions in two quadrants which are 3 and 4 right correct and you also know from special triangles that sine theta is half 4 pi by 6 right so so we're looking for acute angle alpha of pi by 6 so in these quadrants the the value of theta will be 7 pi by 6 right and 11 pi by 6 so we get 7 pi by 6 and 11 pi by 6 I'm not getting into these details because at this stage you're familiar with it so related acute angle is pi by 6 so for these four angles we get dy d theta as 0 perfect so let me call this as our equation number one main main equation is okay now let's also find what is dx d theta so, so dx d theta will get by differentiating the first equation which is x equals to 1 plus sine theta times cosine theta now derivative of cos 1 plus sine theta is cos theta so we get this as cos theta times cos theta and then we have to add derivative of cos theta times 1 plus sine theta this is minus sine theta so let me write minus sine theta times 1 plus sine theta correct now that is cos square theta it's good to write this as uh, okay let's do two steps cos square theta minus sine theta times 1 plus sine theta we want to get factored form right so I'm writing cos square theta as 1 minus sine square theta and here we have minus sine theta times 1 plus sine theta kind of squeezing in the solutions uh, <clears throat> now 1 minus sine square theta could be written as 1 plus sine theta times 1 minus sine theta and we have minus sine of theta times 1 plus sine theta. Now 1 plus sine theta is a common factor. The other factor is 1 minus sine theta. And from here we also get minus sine theta. So what we get here is 1 plus sine theta times 1 minus 2 sine theta okay let me just write here so we get 1 plus sine theta times 1 minus 2 sine theta well, that is too much of work <coughs> okay anyway we got it factored form finally now from here to find the zeros let's equate it to zeros right so if I equate this to zero the different values of theta will be what one is when sine theta is negative one so sine theta is negative one for three pi by two right so we get one theta as let's write down the solution so this is zero for theta equals to three pi by two and now let's look for sine theta to be equals to half so half will be in these two quadrants so that gives you the value as pi by 6 and 5 pi by 6 good so we get these two values from here so we do have some values now what do you notice you see that let's look into the horizontal tangents first so for horizontal tangents we want numerator to be zero we want dy d theta to be zero right so that means we are looking for these th three solutions however you will notice that three pi by two is common to both so so the debatable thing here is whether at three pi by two you are going to have 
horizontal tangent or vertical tangent that is a big question correct so for that you need to find the limit of this function at 3 by, by 2 as it approaches from left side and from the right side correct so so when you find the limit uh, shall I squeeze it in so I'm just making a shortcut I like you to get into details yourself you find limit for theta approaching 3 pi by 2 from positive or negative side you can also work with the symmetry right so let's say you approach from the left side so when you approach this function from the left side find what dy dx is equal to right so so dy dx when you are approaching from the left side you will find that this is equal to infinity so that means at 3 pi by 2 we have a vertical asymptote okay so this implies that at 3 pi by 2 we have vertical asymptote and it matches with our, with our curve also so so you can conclude from here that the horizontal tangents will be at theta equals 2 pi by 2 7 pi by 6 and 11 pi by 6 so a horizontal tangent will be at theta equals to pi by 2, 7 pi by 6, and 11 pi by 6, okay? As far as the vertical tangents are concerned, they will be at the three points mentioned here, which are 3 pi by 2, pi by 6, and 5 pi by 6. I'm not moving on to the next page. The idea is here to give you a um, part solution. You have the theta values, correct? Now you can substitute this and find the R values, correct? So you get the coordinate points. So I'm giving you only the theta values for the polar curve where the horizontals and the vertical tangents will occur. So I hope that makes sense. So this is a part solution. So we get horizontal at theta equals to when the numerator is zero, pi by two, seven pi by six, and 11 pi by six. And we get vertical tangents let me just fill this up here at theta equals to these three values 3 pi by 2 remember for 3 pi by 2 you have to find the limit so this is kind of important part uh, pi by 6 and 5 pi by 6 okay so I hope at this stage this part solution is good enough for you to understand the concepts Feel free to write your comments and share your views. If you like and subscribe to my videos, that'd be great. Thanks for watching and all the best.